Hello there, my name is David Kidder. In this video we're going to take a look at what's going on with current and voltage in a capacitive circuit. So we're going to use an AC source. We're going to go to a capacitor. And what we're going to do is take a couple of measurements. Go ahead and measure the voltage of the source. And we will be measuring the current that flows into the capacitor and then back out again. So what is the relationship between the two? That's what we're, we're really trying to figure out. And ultimately, what is the phase relationship, and that's the shift left to right between voltage and current in a capacitive circuit. So let's go ahead and we'll see what that looks like. So here we go. We have our current in red and our voltage in blue. And we can see that the voltage um, is actually lagging behind the current. So we have got our current at a peak here, we've got our voltage at a peak that's a little bit further behind, and we can see that throughout that system that voltage is actually lagging current. So we have full current, which is about here, we've got full current when our voltage is at zero. Okay, so that's what's interesting about a capacitive circuit in AC, is that voltage and current aren't aligned with each other, and they don't, we actually have full current coming out of that capacitor when the source is at zero volts. And how does that work? Well, we've got a charge on that plate. And hold on, I keep looking for the wrong marker here. There we go. We got a charge on our plate. And when the source drops to zero, that charge is now free to circle back in that circuit. Okay, so that's how we're able to see that we've got maximum current when voltage is at its minimum. Uh, kind of a neat effect, but ultimately what it means is that we have a phase shift between voltage and current in this system. All right, so we can go ahead here and take a look. Current is leading and my voltage is lagging in this circuit. Okay, so current leads. In a an AC capacitive circuit. All right, very interesting effect. Um, and it is, as we can see, the exact opposite to an inductor. Current is leading in the capacitor, current will be lagging in the inductor, interesting enough. All right, so I hope you found this interesting and we'll see you in the next video.